Brooke, today you graduated high school. It seems like it was not that long ago that you were running around as a cute and energetic baby, keeping our whole family on our toes. But now, you have grown up into a beautiful young woman and are preparing to face the world as an adult. Words cannot seem to express how proud I am of you, or all the hopes I have for your future. In fact, my words seem inadequate, so I'm going to let the wisdom of others do the talking for me. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Our lives aren't measured in years. They are measured in the lives of those we touch around us. You're never as good as they say you are, but you're never as bad as they say you are. You're usually somewhere in between. The two most important things you will ever do with your life is love God and love people. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. In the end, it won't matter if you have a few scars, but it will matter if you didn't live. Love must be sincere, genuine, without hypocrisy. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another and brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Stand up for what you believe in and live it out. You are ready. You are set. Now go seek out the Sovereign One. Live and change the world. Regardless of who you think you are, the reality is is that you deserve someone who would give up their life for you because you are powerful and strong and capable. Read about the women in the Bible. Esther, Ruth, Martha, Mary. These women changed the world forever. And inside of you is a woman with that same power and that same strength and that same world-changing capability. And your responsibility is to find that woman and to set that woman free. This is who you are. And any voices in your head that try and tell you differently are from the enemy. And the next time you hear them, this is what you say. Nuh-uh. Not me, Satan. I am a daughter of the living God. Cherished loved and adored above all things by the creator of all things for the glory of the one who is greater than all things i am awesome and please don't you ever forget it i love you brooke now go and change the world <laughs>